Hello, Happy New Year. Praise God. Welcome to 2020. Now, this is that special year you've been thinking about. No, you are in it right now. This is 2020. Praise God. Now, what are your thoughts? What, 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 what are you thinking? The most important thing that you should hold on to in this year is this truth that God is with you. You need to know it. I'm not just talking about confessing it. No, you need to know. You need to beat your chest and say to yourself, I know God is with me. You know, like I told you yesterday, and I told you last year actually, you know, this thing. If you cannot be certain that God is leading you, if you are not certain that God speaks to you, listen, you've got a work to do on yourself. Now, because no matter what the year brings to you, you cannot control what the year brings. And that's the truth. You can't control it. But one thing you can control is your response to what the year brings to you. Your response is under the purview of your, 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 your influence, your control. See, the way you respond to a situation just always shows where your confidence is and what, what, what your strength is. Now, when you know that God is with you, your interpretation of the things life throws at you will be different. Now, that's why Joseph was able to look at his brothers and say, Hey guys, relax. You meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Now, that's to tell you truly in his heart, he never carried bitterness against his brothers. Now, how, how was he able to do that? Not because he was a superman. No, because he knew in, in every stage, in all that journey he made, he knew that God was with him. So whatever they throw at him, all he needs to do is say, Lord, how do I handle this? And the Lord said, do this and do that. Okay, thank you, sir. And he, he does it and a miracle comes out from it. Praise God. I, I'm telling you the truth. Listen, 2020 is, is the kind of year that you, you may just receive a letter from your organization that you have been fired. But guess what? That's the beginning of a new glorious journey in your life. You understand what I'm talking about? How? Because as you see that later, okay, thank you, Lord. So what do we do next? And the Lord said, okay, it's time to start your own business. <laughs> Praise God. And then you start your own business and then you now become uh, your, your company that you just left. You now begin to consult for them and they pay you big. You see? Now that's only God, that's what God, only God can do. Now that's why your response to every situation in life must be this. Lord, what do I do? Now that's why James 1.5 tells us, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask. What's he talking about? Right now, the wisdom you need for this situation. That's how Jesus lived his life. He always asks for wisdom. Now that's what you should do also. Praise God. I want to read something to you the Lord have laid in my heart to share with you for this 2020. Now Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 19. Watch this. It says, The Lord God is my strength and he will make my feet like hinds feet and he will make me to walk upon my high places. Praise God. Did you see that? Who's your strength? The Lord God. Let me read this from the Amplified. He said, The Lord God is my strength, my personal bravery, and my invincible army. Praise God. Did you see that? The Lord God is my strength. You know, I'm just smiling because this is beautiful. The Lord God is my strength, my personal bravery, and my invisible army. He makes my feet like hinds feet and will make me to walk not to stand still in terror, but to walk and to make spiritual progress upon my high places of trouble, suffering, or responsibility. Did you see that? That's why I told you, it's not what life throws at you. No, no, no. Listen, life can throw anything. Listen, even the devil can throw himself at you. Praise God. It's your response that makes the difference. Let this sink in your heart. See, 
when, when something just suddenly happens. Hey, God, where are you? No, 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 no. I know he is with me. And you know what? This thing didn't take him on a ways. Like I told you in, in two days ago, yes, and yesterday, everything about your life, he has already written it already. He has spoken it into me when? Before the world began. See? So whatever life throws at you today, it's only for one thing. You're good. <laughs> but you know what? It is your response that will make it good or leave you in a bad situation. Your response. See? So if, if, if life throws trouble at you and then you begin to cry and you sink with that trouble, it was your choice. It wasn't the trouble that life threw at you that sunk you. It was your choice that brought you down. Now, this is the truth. So, respond right. And the, the, the foundation of your response must be this. God is with me. Now, if he is with me, then what does he want me to do now? And you listen to the voice of the Lord. That's why, listen, settle it right now. Do you hear the voice of God personally? I'm not talking about calling someone and... Um, Pastor, this is what I just, this is what just happened. What do you think the Lord is saying? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you turning to the Lord yourself. Listen, 2020, your pastor is not going to have your time. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> just get it clear. He won't have your time. Now, now that doesn't mean he won't have the time to fellowship with you. Of course, he, there will be time of fellowship. But I'm talking about everybody will begin to enter his own specific lane. And when we move like that, like a troop, everyone in his own place, we are going to accomplish so much. Praise God. A lot of great things are going to happen this year. I know that. Listen, you are going to see acceleration this year like you have never, never thought possible. Oh yeah, that's what the Spirit of God is saying to you. You will see so much acceleration according to your lane, according to the things that God is calling you to do. Suddenly, you will realize that you have so much help that you didn't know you had before. You know why? Because see, the Spirit of God himself is splitting the year for you. See, he is parting your waters. And, and you are just suddenly realizing, ah, I didn't know I knew this. See, because the Lord is going to do... Listen. I wish you can take this. The Lord is going to open your eyes suddenly and you will realize that everything that has been going on in your life was, be, was done for your good. And now you're going to begin to see that it all makes sense. Praise God. This is how to step into the year. Now, tomorrow, I'm, I'm going to be sharing some, some, some things that you should take note of getting into this year. Praise God. I'm a tuba judge. I just love you and welcome again to 2020. Bye-bye.